Do you think Tesla will be able to recover from the present downturn? Even experts are divided with some feeling strongly that Tesla's stock will rise in the near future. Some may not be as certain, but you would not want to miss this information. According to a press statement from Tesla, the business stated on October 2nd that it will produce 365 triple zero cars and deliver over 343 triple zero cars by Q3 2022. In the press release, mentioned above, Tesla then praised its devoted customers for their patience as it worked through the worldwide supply chain and logistics issues that have significantly impacted the firm. Tesla provided an explanation for its poor delivery volume. As the company ramped up production from its various factories, it became more difficult to secure vehicle transportation capacity at a reasonable cost during peak logistics weeks. According to this explanation, Tesla started moving towards a more equitable regional mix of vehicle bill holds each week in Q3, which resulted in an increase in the number of cars in transit at the end of the quarter. However, they pointed out that these cars were ordered and will be delivered to customers who will R register an account and make any amount of deposit on Moomoo. This is a time limited bonus in honor of Moomoo's 10th anniversary. Click the link below to learn more. Moomoo is an excellent stock trading platform with a variety of innovative, user-friendly capabilities. I believe many of you will find it really beneficial, particularly if you wish to be more actively involved in your investments. For instance, learn when it is appropriate to purchase and sell stocks. URL in the following description, Tesla's Q3. Production and delivery numbers have significantly fallen short of Wall Street expectations, but experts predict that if the company can add at least 40,000 additional vehicles on top of its most recent Q3 production numbers, its stock will rise by 10% in a single day. According to a NASDAQ article, Tesla may deliver more than 2 million vehicles in 2023. If this is the case, the company's stock could rise in August as expected. Although Tesla's Shanghai factory faced significant setbacks earlier this year when the local government restricted factory operations as part of its efforts to slow the spread of COVID-19, Wedbush analyst Dan Ives highlighted Tesla's improving production rates at its high output factory in China and the company's overall momentum heading into the end of the year. When investors look at this momentum along with Tesla's reported continued improvement at its factory in California and its ramp up in production at its new factories in Texas and Berlin, uh, they see that production rates at the important factory have not only rebounded but have risen to record levels by the end of the period. Tesla shared this information in its Q2 update. Given that Tesla's factories are now outfitted for annualist production rates of more than 1.9 million units annually, and that the company's management hasn't expressed any intention to reduce its investments in production capacity development, 2 million deliveries in 2023 start to seem plausible. Additionally, Tesla management has stated, that it anticipates using all of its present manufacturing capacity by the end of the year. The company has a good chance of finishing this year at 40,000 vehicles per week, which translates to an annualized run rate of more than 2 million units annually. Furthermore, while delivering 2 million vehicles next year would be an exciting achievement for Tesla, it would only represent a small portion of the company's vision, as noted by Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, during the Q2 earnings call. Musk stated during Tesla's annual shareholders meeting that the business eventually wants to have constructed 10 or 12 plants, the new one being able to handle a colossal annual output of approximately one and a half million automobiles. Tesla supporters believe that despite obstacles, the EV manufacturer will prosper. Interestingly, Tesla's stock price has increased by over 700% in 2020, even though that year marked the height of the global COVID-19 pandemic. There are several reasons why Barron's of American Magazine publication stated that Tesla's stock could rise in three months. Tesla bulls claim to be upbeat about its chances for one Tesla's expansion is given. People hope after years of the company struggling to make a profit, Musk's automobile recently finished its first full year in the black and its sixth consecutive profitable quarter. The largest Tesla additionally bulls place a great deal of value on. Tesla's potential for profit making outside of its core auto business. They claim that the company could realize profits never seen in the auto industry thanks to software advancements like Tesla's long-awaited full self-driving mode, an energy storage unit, and future autonomous taxi service. The energy sector for Tesla is also flourishing. Experts think Tesla has established a significant market share, solid fundamentals, and promising future growth prospects. It is noteworthy that EVs weren't widely used until Tesla introduced the Model S in 2012. Tesla is regarded as the market leader in the EV business and continues to be the top EV manufacturer to this day. Ten years later, it's safe to say that electric vehicles are the way of the future for the automotive industry.
Not only is Tesla regarded as the pioneer of the electric vehicle, but other automakers that built their businesses on gas engines are attempting to balance the past and the future. This is a challenge that Tesla doesn't have to face, even though the number of competitors is growing daily in most of them are just getting started. While Tesla may not be meeting the expectations of the Lucid Group produced 2282 units during the third quarter, compared to 18257 units sold by legacy automaker Ford, which Musk revealed was Tesla's closest rival. However, Tesla produced 365000 units during the same period. Even though local EV manufacturers are becoming more and more competitive, Tesla still controls about two-thirds of the U.S. market for electric vehicles and is expanding its presence in China. Although its current market position may not be ideal, the company's progress cannot be completely discounted. Starting a vehicle can be challenging, and electric automobiles are extremely advanced. More recent rivals like Lucid and Rivian. Automotive are losing money because they don't have enough output to cover the costs of operating facilities, while Tesla's rivals are finding it difficult to increase production. Financially speaking, Tesla appears to be the company best suited to handle the short-term difficulties of a bear market and possible recession, but Tesla's focus on the long-term makes it the electric vehicle stock to own for the long haul. Almost all of its competitors are still just starting out and trying to establish a product line and increase production, so even though Tesla's stock has been extremely volatile recently, it appears that others are too. The Federal Reserve cut interest rates to zero at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic to avert an economic catastrophe in 2021, pin up consumer demand, historically low unemployment, and rock-bottom interest. The rates combined to cause an inflation spike that had not been seen in decades. Fed policymakers dismissed the price spike as temporary inflation, but higher prices persisted longer than anticipated, forcing the Fed to begin raising interest rates in March 2022. According to a Forbes article, 2022 has been the worst year for the SP500 in over 10 years. Interest rates are predicted by analysts to increase somewhat in 2023. While Wall Street analysts predict that SP500 earnings will decline 1.7% in 2022 and rise by just 1.7% in 2023, professional investors see an 86% chance that Fed interest rates will rise by another 1% by June 2023, according to CME Group. An economic slowdown or even recession is more likely due to rising interest rates in. Uncertain economic circumstances like these, investors typically sell stocks and other risky assets, which compresses stock earnings multiples in considering share prices. It was determined that higher interest rates are detrimental to stock prices since they raise the cost of capital, discouraging businesses from taking out loans and making investments to grow their operations. The bad news for investors is that High growth stocks may suffer from stagnating profits growth and unfavorable effects on discounted cash flow pricing. As a whole, experts think Tesla has the adaptability to pursue multiple significant market opportunities. Many hits, which partially distinguishes the business even if Tesla has recently been beset by a numb bar of problems. Long-term investors who are prepared to allow Musk and the business time to realize their goals may benefit from consistent innovation. The stock is a preferred long-term electric car investment due to the company's financial stability and long-term goals, albeit there are some dangers associated with Tesla's growth. Projections. Investors are paying more attention to the risk associated with the global supply chain that is needed to support the expanding production of complex products like electric vehicles these days. Recent macro and geopolitical environments have demonstrated that global supply chains are frequently more. Fragile than investors may realize, though it should be noted that Tesla is known to succeed in the face of difficulties. For additional content on Tesla stocks, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.